Simple. Good morning, good morning, guys. Good morning. Um, I'm in Limbe, Cameroon. I'm at home. Um, yes, this is my room, but uh, I don't use this room. So there's somebody who is living in this. Uh, yes, in this room. So everything you see here is their own design. I have nothing to do with it. But I'm having a very nice time here. I just want to share with you guys my morning routine in Cameroon. So I'm going to show you something. And I remember we used to have something like this. See, look at the wardrobe. Fantastic. It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh. And this is the bed. It's a designer bed. This is strong design, guys. I love it here. But uh, the most beautiful thing about this room is the view outside. This is how it is outside. Guys, never mind. In Cameroon, we have these things here. Protection. It's like you are living in a prison. So, there is a mosquito net in between. So you cannot really see. But it's beautiful. I like the view. This is what you see. I am going to take you guys outside and show you what I do in the morning. Oh. Okay guys, we're going to show you what we do here every day when I read for family. Like John, where is the coconut? It is the coconut. <laughs> we have many of them so this is why I don't show. Simple. We have some of the trees behind the house there is taller than this one. So this one is very easy. Mm -hmm. You're not an expert for TV. Guys. The first thing I do is to drink this in the morning. I'm always like dancing happy. I cannot wait for my for not water. Okay, my bestie, Hannah Akaman, she told me when I come to Cameroon, I should not eat. I should just drink coconut water. Since I have so much coconut in the house, I should just drink coconut water. So I'm going to start the day with the coconut water. <laughs> I'm telling you, this coconut, oh my god, the water that is inside. I'm, uh, wow, I'm just doing this to show you guys how much water, how much water is in this coconut. Look at this. Can you see the water? Enter? Look at this. Wow. Yes. Very much. Yes. This, this kind of coconut in Cameroon, they call it pap because it's soft. I mean, I don't eat the coconut, I just drink the water. I'm telling you, it's fresh. Very cool in the African system. Because uh, my brother is here, he's going back to Douala today. So we are going to look for some plantain from him. So we are looking around the compound to see if there is some strong plantain. That's what we are going to do. You see, John, no. I thought something jumped on my leg. I'm very afraid of snakes. 
Okay guys, the reason why I was so afraid is because that morning I saw a green snake on this tree. Okay guys, I'm going to zoom in so you can see the snake because even John was having a problem to see the snake on the tree. He didn't go over. Wow, there is a green snake in this tree. And listen, I did this so long, very long, small. Come here. I take that way, go so he enter for the hand. You see the oh, I see now. <laughs> Where? Guys, John finally brought down the snake from the tree. I was feeling sorry for the snake. I was like, please, John, where? Please do not kill the snake. Because there is no way you cannot kill a snake. If you kill a snake, you will pay a fine. So I have this in me already. I was really, really feeling sorry for the snake. So now the question is, if you find a snake in your garden or in your farm or at home in Africa, will you kill the snake or will you just let the snake go? Yeah, comment below. Let me know what you will do if you find a snake. Really feeling sorry for this snake and it looks like a baby snake. I think it's a baby green snake. Anyway, my kids told me that this snake is not dangerous that is not poisonous <laughs> i'm not very sure about that okay guys it's time to leave the baby snake alone this is where i'm going to end this vlog thanks for watching thanks very much for your time we appreciate your support Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification button guys. Give this video a thumbs up. Share guys, share. We need your support. Our goal here is to try to reach 500 subscribers guys. Stay blessed. Love you all. Bye. Hada.